Okay, now I want to teach you a useful mnemonic that a, that a lot of my students find helpful. Just to remember these ideas, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and the tangent of an angle is the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. Now none of those are hard, but it is easy just to get them mixed up accidentally. So a lot of my students do this. They look at the first letters here. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, S-O-H, and they write S-O-H. And then cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, that's C-A-H. C-A-H, and then tangent is opposite over adjacent. Looking at those letters gives you T-O-A. And then they remember this word, Sokotoa. And I, I get a lot of my students, they'll get a test on trigonometry or a test that uses these ideas. And the first thing they do is write this down up at the top of the test. And then they can refer back to this when they need to remember that, that sine is opposite over hypotenuse or cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, or tangent is opposite over adjacent. So remembering this one word can help you remember all three of these ideas. Now I'll tell you that this, this doesn't really help me personally, because I can never remember how to spell Sokotoa. It's not a word that I use every day. In fact, the only reason I know how to spell Sokotoa is because I've already memorized those three ideas just by brute force. But if this helps you, then feel free to use it. And, and a lot of students tell me that this helps them. Even though it doesn't really do anything for me, it apparently does for a lot of people, so I point it out now. The key thing is, one way or another, whether it's just by repeating these ideas to yourself a thousand times or learning how to spell that word one day or one way or another learn these three facts sine is opposite over hypotenuse cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse and tangent is opposite over adjacent